Item number, SCP-615. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-615 is to be kept in a secure enclosure, constructed of inorganic materials. Under no circumstances is organic matter, especially plant matter, to be allowed within SCP-615's enclosure without the approval of a level 4 researcher. For safety reasons, and because of SCP-615's aggressive and territorial nature, personnel are not allowed to enter the enclosure without a security detail armed with incendiary weaponry. In the event of a containment breach, all personnel in the area are to immediately evacuate and avoid SCP-615 at all costs. Containment teams armed with incendiary weaponry must be used to force SCP-615 back into its enclosure. In the event that such a tactic is impossible, security teams are authorized to terminate SCP-615. Description SCP-615 is a large collection of dead and discarded plant matter that has attained sentience. Despite the lack of any organs, central nervous system, or any other system commonly associated with a fully functioning organic creature, SCP-615 is able to independently move, manipulate its surroundings, and perform instinctual behaviors. Analysis of SCP-615's composition reveal it to be a mixture of countless pieces of discarded and dead plant material, with the vast majority being small sticks and broken branches. Remote scanning revealed nothing extraordinary within SCP-615 itself. It is unknown how SCP-615 is able to keep the plant matter together into a single mass, nor is it known how it can manipulate its own mass to perform motor functions. All that is currently known is that SCP-615 is able to move by rolling itself along the ground. Testing has shown that it is able to traverse level terrain fairly quickly. Obstacles prove to slow it slightly, but the effect is minor, since SCP-615 merely splits around them to continue its movement. SCP-615 is also able to interpret its surroundings, even with its conspicuous lack of conventional sense organs. How this phenomenon is achieved is currently unknown. Observation of SCP-615 in the wild has shown that it feeds off of discarded and dead plant matter. As a result, SCP-615 tends to inhabit areas thickly populated with vegetation, such as forests and jungles. SCP-615 will roam its territory, absorbing discarded plant matter from the ground and adding it to its own mass. It also seems to act as a natural gardener, pruning and trimming existing trees of excess plant matter. This serves the dual purpose of feeding SCP-615 and increasing the lifespan of the plants around it. When deprived of plant matter, it has been observed that SCP-615 can indeed be starved. Extended periods of forced starvation have shown that the plant matter that constructs SCP-615 will eventually biodegrade, shrinking it until the point of death. If overly fed, SCP-615 will reach a stage of critical mass, where it grows too large to support itself. This provokes a reproductive response, where SCP-615 will separate itself into multiple smaller entities, capable of acting independently from each other. In terms of behavior, SCP-615 is no different from any other territorial organism. It will commonly patrol a several square mile area, and will aggressively attack anything that attempts to intrude into its territory. Though SCP-615 is quite easy to avoid and outrun, it displays devastating strength and savagery if it manages to catch its quarry. SCP-615 attacks by completely engulfing its target and contracting its mass, crushing or suffocating the target. Lab tests as well as eyewitness reports have shown it is easily capable of crushing large trucks if it is of sufficient size. Due to the nature of its composition, SCP-615 is extremely flammable, making incendiary weaponry the items of choice to combat it. 
SCP-615 is seemingly aware of this and shows a marked aversion to open flames. It will attempt to avoid fire at all costs, making containment relatively simple. SCP-615 was found in the forest after it was caught disrupting logging operations there. Reports of missing loggers and destroyed logging equipment eventually tipped off the Foundation that these incidents were more than mere animal attacks. A Foundation scouting expedition eventually encountered SCP-615, suffering several casualties in the process. A more specialized task force was sent in and managed to herd SCP-615 into containment with the use of flares and torches. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-614, IP address 57.32. right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.